How could you like Trump? He's racist. If someone inspires me and I connect with them, I don't have to believe in all their policies. They will think twice stepping onto my land. Welcome to um, the first Kanye 2020 rally. <laughs> this is a great turnout. Um, so thank you, everyone. Um, can he even run for, for president? I'd like to know some answers. Fast. Who gave 2020 the right? The past 48 hours have been crazy. We have learned that one of the biggest music um, celebrity icons in the world, Kanye West, intends to run for president of the United States of America. Okay, so let's start with what we know. Kanye West, I, I don't know why I nearly forgot his name, Kanye West announced that he was running for president on the 4th of July, Independence Day, pretty big day. In the UK, it wasn't the 4th of July, it was actually precisely 1.38 a.m. on the 5th of July. Of course, I was not asleep because I don't sleep. I don't sleep. It's concerning. It's real concerning. So I was in bed and I was kind of just like scrolling through my phone and right at the top of my feed was this tweet from Kanye West. We must now realize the promise of America by trusting God, unifying our vision and building our future. I'm running for president of the United States, hashtag 2020 vision. It is important to note here that that tweet is already slightly misleading because he is not yet running for president. He has not yet registered as a candidate in any of the 50 states. 2015 MTV Music Awards. I just wanted people to like me more. I remember him doing his speech and saying that he wanted to run for president in 2020. I have decided in 2020 to run for president. That was wild at the time, because that really was a shock. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, as a British person commenting on a completely American situation, if Kanye announced that he was running in 2024, and therefore he's got like a four year lead time now till 2024, he could have a really good shot at that. The fact that it's now July, when is the US election? The US election is November the 3rd, 2020. August, September, October, November. He's four months out. So arguably, it seems a bit more like a last minute effort, potentially to split a vote, but I don't know, I don't know. We'll talk about, we'll talk about that. We will talk about that in a second. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, so next question is, can, can he, actually do this like can he actually run for president so if he can't represent the democratic or the republican party in essentially a two-party state which is america how, how does he run to run as president article 2 section 1 of the united states constitution you essentially have to be an american citizen kanye west is an american citizen he can either run as an independent candidate or a write-in candidate an independent presidential candidate which is what i think kanye would prefer to do i actually don't know if under some of the requirements he would qualify to even be an independent candidate, we'll go over that in a second. Every single state has a different filing requirement to be an independent candidate. In some states, Kanye could just pay to kind of bypass the requirements, but in most states, you have to go through a pretty complex route of passing certain thresholds to be considered as an actual serious candidate. Let's see, can I run as president? Let's see, well I can't because I'm not an American citizen, but say I was. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, so each state as an independent presidential candidate, um, you have to get a certain number of signatures from like potential voters and there's a filing deadline. So you have to have made your application to be a candidate by a certain date. And I'm looking down some of these dates, and some of these dates have already been passed. Indiana, the filing deadline was the 30th of June. New Mexico is the 25th of June. North Carolina was March. So some states, Kanye is already excluded from even being an independent candidate on those dates. In the states that are still open, you essentially need a certain number of signatures 
to like back you as being a real candidate. So Alabama, you only need 5,000 signatures. In California, you need nearly 200,000 signatures and that's because of the power of California in the electoral college. But basically Kanye could do that. A lot of the states have not yet closed their filing deadlines. He would have to act fast because most of these do close in July and August. I don't know where he'd find all these people from. 200,000 people in California, which he might do, but he's gonna have to go through the process of like finding those people. Like he'd have to put out a tweet saying like, can 200,000 people sign this thing to allow me to be a candidate in California, which is just quite a messy process. He could also be a write-in candidate. So a write-in candidate is someone who is a candidate for the president, but their name doesn't actually appear on like the ballot form. So when you go to vote, their name isn't there. Instead, you would write in their name. So it's kind of harder because you rely on a lot of voter enthusiasm. They're actively having to go and write in your name. There are nine states that don't allow right in candidates whatsoever. Kanye would immediately lose nine states. Dwight Eisenhower won a primary, Richard Nixon won a primary in 1960, and those individuals didn't win like the presidency via a write-in, it's just that some states, some individual selective states, they managed to win the primary vote via a write-in. Right, so Kanye's got his options here. He can be an independent candidate for which the filing deadlines of a few states have already closed, but he could do. He could, he could get his signatures for all of the remaining states and he could be an independent candidate. Or he could be a write-in candidate, um, even though being a writing candidate is extremely difficult to persuade and infuse voters to go in and write your name. Secondly, it's never been hugely successful across multiple states in the past. Thirdly, so many states don't even allow writing candidates. So say he is one of those candidates, which I hope I've explained is quite tough for him to do that, but say he is one of those candidates. What is the political strategy here? So as a lot of people have already been saying on Twitter, um, I think the most likely outcome is that he will split a vote. For example, he could be super tactical and he could only register as a candidate in specific states that he knows are already swing seats. There is like barely a Democratic or Republican majority. And that's because a lot of people are saying um, it's likely he's gonna split the young Democratic vote. A lot of young Democratic voters are apathetic. They are relatively unenthusiastic towards Joe Biden. And so the appearance of a new populist candidate, someone like Kanye West, who's already extremely popular due to his music and his celebrity career, could hugely and very legitimately split the Democratic vote. <laughs> and that's ironically in spite of the fact that over the past few years, Kanye has shown a much more Republican focused ideology and he's aligned himself with Donald Trump. Now that's super interesting because when we were talking about the independent and the right-in candidate, um, I was kind of dismissing them quite a lot. And the reason I was dismissing them is it would be super, super hard and impossible due to a lot of the deadlines already going or some states not allowing right-in candidates for Kanye to win the whole country. However, the logical thing for him to do would be to register as an independent or a write-in candidate in specific swing seat states that he knows are very, very close between the Democrats and the Republicans. He could then split the Democratic vote in those states and ensure that those states are no longer swing seats. They're actually now Republican strongholds. That's the only way I can see him operating as a candidate that would actually affect the presidential election. So Kanye 2020, it's probably not happening, but Kanye helping Trump 2020, that's a real possibility. 